Okay, we will continue to the next uh, subtopic. Right before that, let's imagine uh, a situation one day in the future when you go to work that your tire has some problem and you need to replace the tire. So I'm going to show you some pictures and uh, in the picture there are different methods to, to unscrew the nuts uh, locking the tire. So think about it which way that uh, is easiest okay so first one this one use the hand to unscrew it or this one that you have something longer that you can grip on looks better uh, that you have something uh, longer but bent in that uh, direction or you have this even longer and bend in such a direction or mm, don't think so you're going to use this uh, you might you might attract the attention of the police if you have a license or you're going to do this which way think about that got your answer Right, so before we review an answer, I guess you already know that. So let's go into the uh, topic for this before we talk about that again. Or maybe you have this. Sorry, I missed this. Okay, so let's go back to that. I mean, go forward. So turning effect of the forces. Basically, the uh, case is about turning the or unscrewing uh, the nut so that you can take out the tire, right? So it's about turning effect. Which one will give you uh, a greatest turning effect with the least effort? All right. So uh, let's learn about the moment of a force because moment of a force uh, produce turning effect. If you understand this, then you should be able to uh, choose the easiest way just now. Okay. Uh, so moment of force is about a point is the product of the force and the perpendicular distance are from the line of action to the point so maybe a bit confusing but i think you learn in uh, o level or spm already so that we have a, a range here that if you apply a force at f1 then moment of the force produced by this f1 will be f1 times R1 because R1 is the uh, perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force what is the line of action of the force basically is this this one is the line of action of the force uh, to the point the point means the point of moment so from the line of action of the force to the point of moment that is perpendicular Okay, so we have F1 times R1. And if you apply a force of F2, F2 basically is R2. So that's why uh, moment caused by F2 is F2 times R2. So generally, uh, equation is tau equals to F times R. That's just a Greek letter of uh, representing the moment. Okay, so we move on. Uh, this case, I guess you might have seen this in the airport. Okay, let's look at the girl here. Uh, he's trying to push the door from the outside here. I mean, near to the uh, the other edge of the door. So, moment caused by this girl is F1 times R1. These two are perpendicular. Okay, and F2 by the guy there is F2 times R2. Moment caused by F2. Uh, moment caused by this guy is F2 times R2. All right, and let's look at the next picture here. So this is picture here. The force is not perpendicular to the handle. Different from the cases that we have seen just now. This one is at a certain angle phi there, as a phi, okay, to the uh, to the handle, okay. So, but it will also produce a, a turning effect. That let's try to form the equation. So perpendicular distance from the line of action of this force, this is the line of action of F. 
direction F perpendicular distance to this point O is basically the D so the moment caused by this F is F times D we can also resolve this force into two components and from there we can also build uh, an equation first of all let's look at the F cos theta we resolve into F cos theta and F sine theta F cos theta this force its line of action of the force is actually passing through the uh, point of moment so if passing through the point of moment means that in the definition of the moment just now uh, it basically has no perpendicular distance so this one will cause a moment of zero right whereas the component f sine theta here we're going to figure out what is the moment caused by this so line of action of this uh, f sine theta is here and its perpendicular distance to the point of moment o is actually the r so therefore is tau equals to f sine phi times r okay so by right this one f sine phi times r should be equals to f times d because they actually come from the same force therefore the uh, moment produced by both of that should be equal because it's the same force so which means that suppose uh, d and r sine theta must give you the same value so is that true we're going to look at the diagram one more time that we look, focus on this triangle now which is a right angle triangle so d is the dotted line here this d r is basically the hypotenuse so then let's consider uh, d eh? d must be the component of the r that is opposite to the uh, angle so therefore we use the function of sine 5 so this is correct which means that uh, when you sub into the uh, moment equation that should give you the same value so it depends on situation uh, whether we need to resolve the uh, vector force into its component or we can directly find its perpendicular distance so that will depends on uh, cases all right let's move on uh, so that's the case that this guy is trying to uh, rotate the what do you call that? Uh, round uh, turntable uh, I'm not sure you, you, you find it all right so if you try to apply a force which is uh, in this direction okay do you think it will cause any uh, rotation would, would he be able to rotate uh, this thing look at the line of action of the force basically is passing through the point of moment so again there's no uh, perpendicular direction and if you compare with this is pushing at this direction okay and if we resolve that yes this component is the same like just now it's passing through the uh, point of moment but it also has a component that is here this one has a perpendicular distance okay so of course compared to this uh, compared to the one on the left hand side uh, if you apply the force in such a way there you will have uh, uh, created a turning effect because the moment here is f sine theta times r whereas this moment here basically is uh, zero okay so talking about that now we can compare different range uh, that they are applying at a different angle and also applying at a different distance the large one here has the greatest distance uh, this one this two here uh, has a different angle of course the moment caused by this is larger than this because it itself is perpendicular to this and this one has a longer 
uh, r a uh, longer length so therefore if tau equals to f times r that your f is a constant but you increase the r therefore you will produce a larger moment so which means that the longer the range that you have you will actually produce a larger moment then if you go back to the case of unscrewing the uh, nut just now the one with the longest one of course is the easiest but the the last picture there uh, that i show you basically is a uh, electrical uh, screwdriver and not screwdriver uh, electrical device that you can use to unscrew so so of course if you have that in the middle of the road better not, right so if not then of course you have to extend or use a long branch then it'll be easier for you to uh, unscrew the nut okay so we have five different forces here uh, applying to the same rod which force will produce the smallest moment about the point okay we'll continue this in the next uh, video because i think it's a bit too long already